Thank you, thank you. קוראים לי נועם פינטו, נולדתי עם מחלה כלייתית. יש את המחלה הזאת לארבעה ילדים בארץ, היא מחלה כרונית. השם שלי זה אדם, אני בן עשר וחצי, יש לי שיתוק מוחין. אני יודעת שיש שלב מסוים שאני אצטרך להשאיל כליה. אז אחים שלי, כל פעם שיש משהו שהוא נגיד פחות תקין בבדיקות או משהו כזה, הם ישר, טוב, אז אני אתן לך כליה. זה נורא לשמוע שילד בן שבע אומר לך כזה דבר. אני מרגיש שלא אחד מה... מהרגילים, בוא נגיד. אני לא מוותר לעצמי, אני ממשיך לנסות ולנסות להתחבר. אני לרוב גם אצליח. כפר נהר הירדן הוא כפר נופש לילדים המתמודדים עם מחלות קשות. הם באים אלינו לכפר כדי לחגוג את החיים. בשבילי כפר נהר הירדן הוא מקום שעוזר לי להמשיך. לחיות וליהנות, ולא לדאוג כל הזמן רק למחלה. בספר אני שונה, בבית אני שונה, ופה אני מרגישה שווה, אני מרגישה שאני יכולה להיות מי שאני באמת, ולא לשים מסכות או להסתיר או להתבייש במה שיש לי. ואתה מכיר ילדים שיש להם אותן בעיות וממש דומים לך. בכפר נהר הירדן ממש נהניתי, עשינו כיף עם כל המשפחה, הכרתי גם כמה חברים. אני הגעתי לכאן בתור חניכה, לפני ארבע שנים אני נכנסתי, והמון של מדריכים רץ אליי, ונהייתי בשוק טוטאלי. קפצו עליו, התחילו לשיר ולרקוד, ואז התחלתי לרקוד, והיה כל כך כיף. נותנים לך את התשומת לב הכי גדולה שאפשר, את החיבוק החם והענק הזה. שאתה לא תקבל במקום אחר, חוץ מהבית. הכפר נתן לי את האומץ אה, להרגיש בבית, בנוח. לא צריך להתבייש בזה שאתה נכה ושאתה שונה. זה מה שנותן לך לחגוג את החיים. אני אוהב אתכם אהבת נפש, ותמשיכו לאהוב אחד את השני כמו שאתם אוהבים, ושתאהבו את העולם כמו שאתם אוהבים. אתם פשוט נהדרים. Embarrassing. An 80 years old man is crying. I visit this, the village a lot, sometimes twice a week. When I leave the village, most times I sit my, uh, in my car and I cry. I see the children. Some of them in wheelchairs, Others are being supported, dancing, singing, laughing, really celebrating life. I belong to a group of people that took upon themselves to create a holiday village for children who have to cope with serious medical conditions. We started with the, a medical committee that advised the planners what would be required for the children at the village. Generous people from Israel and abroad helped us to build the Jordan River Village on a beautiful piece of land that was given to us by the government in the north of Israel, 60 acres between Mount Tabor and the Sea of Galilee. What can be more beautiful? What site can be more beautiful? That was 12 years ago. On August 2011, we opened the village very carefully with great uh, hesitation due to the immense responsibility. We start, started with 20, 25 children uh, a session. Now, after gaining experience, we are hosting children coping with 25 different illnesses. We are running 
40 sessions a year of three to six days, depending on the illness. In each session, we host 60 children between the ages of nine to 18. Each session is dedicated to one illness. We are coping with the chronic genetic and life-threatening conditions such as cancer, Crohn disease, hemophilia, and other very serious ones. Each session is supervised by doctors who specialize in the field of that very session. The doctors are volunteers, and so are most of the nurses. We take care of the children around the clock. The counselors in the village volunteer for a whole year. Each year, 20 of them are picked carefully out of hundreds of applicants who wish to volunteer. The counselors are trained to be at eye level with the children, not to be their leaders, not to be their friends, not to be their guides, but to be their friends. Each counselor is appointed to be a friend of two children at every session. Before the children arrive, we, the, the counselors, study condition of their appointed friends. And then, as you saw in the video, we counselors, the counselors wait for the children at the welcome gate, and when, uh, when the kids get off the bus, the counselors in two lines bow and welcome and, uh, and, and sing and dance and a lot of noise, or that, that's just the beginning of the, of the party. We welcome in the village uh, not only children with the physical illnesses. I'll never forget the first time we invited children with mental uh, difficulties. I was at the welcome gate when the bus arrived. The children name came off the bus with the, with the doctors, the counselors wearing their funny hats, holding colorful balloons, singing and dancing, and, uh, uh, but the, the children were very hesitant. For a while, we weren't sure that the routine was going to work, but it did. It took a little longer for our guests to react to the clowns joking around, but uh, it did work. They smiled and joined in. I came back two days ago, two days later. Uh, the children were playing, singing, dancing, but what drew my attention were the three doctors who arrived with their children from the Dare Hospital. They stood mortified by a tree with their heads lowered and, and whispered among themselves, whispering, whispering. They came closer, and I saw that they had tears in their eyes. I asked them if something was wrong, and they said, actually, yes. We realized that the children we brought with us to the village behave totally different in a good way when they are here which means that our approach there at our hospital reward is wrong. After that pioneering session, children from these mental institutions have been coming to the JRV for holidays, and we managed to make them happy time after time. This is truly our commitment to children with serious illnesses and life-threatening conditions. Some of these children spend most of their life in hospital wards, 
all stuck in their homes. We invite them to come and celebrate life with other children just like them. Needless to say that the Jordan River Village is open for children of all faiths, Jews, Muslims, Christians, Jews, etc., from uh, all backgrounds and from all over the country. So are the doctors and the, and the nurses. We also host children from the Palestinian Authority and the Gaza Strip who are who are being treated in Israeli hospitals, of course. The medical center is the heart of the JRV, but the soul of the village are the counselors and those who volunteer to run the village. 120 good people are busy daily with, with and in and around to children on on weekend sessions, we host families that their children had been through organ transplants. The children are looked after by the counselors, and for the parents, we bring in different speakers and psychologists. One of the mothers told me before getting on the bus back home that she didn't see her son for two whole days. Usually, she said, he wouldn't leave my sleeve for a minute. Two years ago, we started hosting hundreds and hundreds of children who are in all sorts of special schools and institutions. Some have medical conditions. Many of them have no parents or homes to return to. They come with their teachers for a few days of fun, and I promise you, they cannot wait for the next time they'll visit the village. You've seen the attractions in the village, the pool, the sports hall, the theater, the climbing wall, the zip line, the horses, all for entertaining our young guests. In the art center, you can paint and sculpture, but the loveliest thing is a tile that every child gets to paint on and write his name. Then it gets baked in a ceramic oven and placed on, a, on a, the village uh, friendship wall, where it stays forever. My favorite tile is of a girl who wrote, equal among different. I want to read you a letter that a mother, I got from a mother. My daughter, 17 years old, has never left the house without me or her father, not even as far as 10 meters. She's epileptic. When the village bus came to pick her up, I es escorted her on to the bus, and I thought to myself, why are we doing this? Anyway, we'll get a phone call in the afternoon asking us to come and take the, the, her back home. Well, we didn't get a call, not even the next morning. We called, and we were told that she was horseback riding. We called again later, and we were told she was at the swimming pool. When she came back home on Friday, she told us that on Sunday, she and two friends are going to, for a couple of days, to stay at another friend's place, a friend from the village. They are all epileptic, but they have learned at the village how to take care of each other. Since then, wrote the mother, we hardly see her at home. She travels nonstop with her friends. 
She's so happy. She's celebrating life. Thank you. Over 5,500 5, children plus 2,000 family members have celebrated life in our village so far. We don't charge them a penny. We expect to go... Thank you. We expect to go on hosting 2,000 children every year. On a personal note, let me just tell you, if it weren't for my colleague, Paul Newman, bless his soul, I wouldn't be here telling you about the JRV. I met up with Paul in New York, and he invited me to visit the summer camp for children with cancer he built in Connecticut. I went there, and I was deeply touched. When we started building the village in Israel, Paul sent us a round figure sum, a big one. Thank you, Paul. What, what an actor, what a friend, what a mensch. Paul, you are with us every day. Thank you. And thank you.